So when are we going to start this video? I don't know. Probably should at some point. I think it is. Oh, it is recording. It's recording already. <laughs> All right, we should start then. I guess so. This espresso is just so good. It's yummy. Yeah, I know, it's right. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. Um, me and Tony wanted to get together and put a little video together in order to give you an update about what the church is doing, what you can expect, and and uh, what we uh, we hope we can... Uh, work together to accomplish in this strange time of not being able to to uh, get together. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we're planning to do, a few things, just to let you know, is uh, our elders, uh, love our elders, godly men, they are actually planning to, to contact you guys. Some of you may have been contacted already or throughout the weeks you'll be contacted from your from your elder. They'll be contacting you just to check on everybody, make sure everybody's needs are met. If you have any needs or know of anybody that has needs within our congregation, you can contact the office and talk to Debbie and uh, get those needs all in one place there so that we can uh, figure out how, how to meet the needs of, of our members, whether you need somebody to shop for you or or if you're not feeling well or you need prayer, just let us know and we can work to meet those needs. The elders also wanted us to encourage all of our members to, for, for everybody to pick three people, just pick three people from the congregation and, and call them and ask them to, to, con to stay in contact with you and ask them to contact you know at least three other people so that we can, as a network, be in co to continue our community and encourage everybody mm -hmm. and uh, just to stay in touch with everybody and make sure everybody's, everybody's okay. Uh, since we're not able to meet together, we want to do that for our edification and encouragement. Um, what you can expect from us is we're planning to upload sermons. I'll, I'll be uploading a sermon every week and making that available by Sunday so that on Sunday morning you can watch a sermon. And uh, and we, uh, we, we may be trying to send out some emails with some songs that you can listen to and sing with and those types of things. And, uh, and as you uh, commune at home, uh, if you need communion uh, material. If you need the stuff for communion, you can contact the church and we can either let you know where you can find it. Most of, most of you can, can find, the, find those things at a grocery store if you're not able to. Then we can actually schedule some times for people to come in and uh, if we have the, the stuff available here to give you, we can give you some of those things. Um, but most of us should be able to find those things in the grocery store as far as bread and, 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 and juice. Um, we're planning to use the church Facebook page. It's Metro Metro Church of Christ on Facebook. If you haven't liked our page, like our page and follow it. Uh, you'll we're going to be uploading this video and other videos there, and uh, keeping people up to date and and hopefully posting some encouraging things and 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 I will try to put our sermon there as well as we have a, a church YouTube page that I'll be sending out a link to as well as trying to put it on our put it on our website. So we'll have several options for you to view the sermon. I'll hopefully send links to all of that out through email. So be looking at your email. If you don't get an email from us in the next couple of days, check your spam and, and just make sure you're getting the emails from the church so that you can stay up to date. And again, follow our Facebook page. And uh, yeah, so it, that, that's, our, that's our current plan. And we are working on uh, options for our small groups to be able to meet through video services and and things like that. If you if you haven't already, download the Zoom app. You may be contacted uh, through through that means uh, as we figure these things out, and that's one of the options we might use. And so we are just looking at different options to to build community and stay together and, and keep encouraging one another. And so be looking for the communication to come from us as we uh, strive to continue to glorify God here in in Gresham. And Tony has a few updates for us as well, for us as well as well as some a spiritual encouragement. Yeah. So the role that I'm going to play is I'm going to still engage the college students and teens. And I'm going to encourage the church. Also, I do want to emphasize, if you can, get on Facebook, the church, Facebook specifically, because that's where we're going to try to generate a lot of our information, encouragement, daily encouragement, videos from me, from Matt. Um, so nothing will change except everything's going to go online and we want to still maintain that community. How do we build and maintain community when we can't see each other face to face and so forth? So the best thing I, I can encourage you with is like Matt was saying, reach out to each other, connect and engage each other. If all of us take on this leadership position of I want to target three people um, and I want to, I want to follow through with contacting them, calling them, praying for them and so forth, they'd be very valuable. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that with that Zoom app or apps like that, you can actually call together a prayer meeting 
And you can still meet together and pray with one another together and still maintain that community. Uh, so, for example, the guy study I do on Fridays, we're still going to somehow in some way meet together, pray for each other and study the Bible. It's cool living in this day of age because we have the accessibility to connect with each other, even though we can't do it face to face because of the current circumstances. So good things are coming. Bear with us. We're trying to figure things out. And we're trying to make it easily accessible. Matt and I were talking earlier. We're not used to this. This is something that we just don't do. Uh, so we're figuring out and we're trying to go with the flow. But I do want to say this. There's a word of encouragement I want to read to you guys. In Proverbs chapter 3, I was reading through this and I was talking to the college students and teens about this uh, earlier. I'm going to post it on the, their Facebook page. In Proverbs 3, starting in verse 3, it says this. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Love and faithfulness, okay? Then it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So my encouragement to you is today, make space for God. Acknowledge him, dwell on him. Pray for the brotherhood, pray, pray for the churches, pray for the virus, pray for those that are in need. Uh, so my encouragement to you is make space for God and know that things will be okay and you'll be hearing from us in the future. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Looking forward to what's going to happen in the future. So Matt and I, I guess, are signing out. Anything else you need to say, Matt? Nope. We love you guys and we're continuing to pray for you. We will be in touch.